Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in right off the bat. If you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And while you are doing that, why is my laptop being weird? Alright, there we go. Alright, we are good. Alright, awesome. Everything's all set. As you can tell by the title of today's video, going to be doing part two, attempting to recreate Johnny Benson's 2000, 2000, 1993 Michigan flip in the Grand National Bush series. But unfortunately, I do not have, was not able to find a 2000, why do I keep saying 2000, a 1993 Grand National car set, so I'm just using the Winston Cup one, which doesn't really matter, because as long as we got Johnny Benson's Delco Remy paint scheme, we are all good, which I'm now also realizing I forgot to update the description, which I will make sure to do so immediately following the live stream. How's everyone doing? Alright, by the way, let me know if there's any technical errors going on. If anything's off with the audio or video. I tore my entire studio down yesterday to clean it. I took my computer all apart, vacuumed the hell out of it. I even took my pedals apart. I There was like probably 24 screws in my pedal set I had to take apart because I was trying to get as much cat hair and dust out of the little nooks and crannies as possible because I've been having some issues with my gas pedal as of recently so I was wondering if maybe all that shit stuck in there had anything to do with it so I tried to get as much out as I could and I think I was able to put everything back together properly we'll find out shortly won't we Alright, so as you saw in the GIF, or if you saw in part one when I showed the replay, going down the backstretch, Johnny Benson in the number 41 Delco Remy, Chevy Lumina paint car, I believe that was a Lumina at the time, gets uh, backwards, going into the infield down the backstretch, gets airborne, and tumbles. As you can see, I have the track setting set to have the car going really fast. Actually wasn't too terrible at first. Just flipped a few, few too many times and I think I did it just a tad too far down the back stretch. I just needed to do a little bit earlier. Not a bad first attempt. Actually, let's see something. Let's go to happy hour. Let's start in happy hour, so then we can... Because of the way I have the grip set up and the track temperature, basically ideal for blowovers and to get up to speed as quickly as possible. So hopefully if I just can fly out of the pits, I should be up to normal blowover speed by the time I get to the backstretch. These AI cars are taking these turns at like 200 miles an hour like 210 we got superhuman NASCAR speeds going on here Oop. that one sucked try that again whoa got a little loose there yeah obviously the track settings are very much tweaked I kind of have them racing wise to an unrealistic level, but I'm just trying to get up to speed as quickly as possible and be able to get a blowover every single time on command. Aw, oh, darn it. If I would have kept tumbling, that one wouldn't have been bad. I think that was right about the right spot. Like. He was getting sideways slash airborne right at that road. Limit 55. Keep it under 35. Trying to do lightning 
round attempts here, trying to get as many attempts into this video as possible if we can't get a perfect one right away. Whoa. Keep going. Hold on, I'm adjusting my pedals with my feet on the carpet. There we go. I was up on top of a cable. So it wasn't digging into the carpet properly. So they kept sliding around for a second. I need to eventually get a rig that I can screw the pedals into. Hopefully someday. Oh, yep, I saw that coming. I knew that one was coming. Uh-oh. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna have to restart this session. After we got that out of my system. Uh-oh. Oh. They missed him. Jeez. I clicked restart the session right as I was getting clobbered in the replay. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. Whoa! Whoops. Sorry, Dave Marcus. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not having good luck in the pits in this video, am I? Keep it under 3500. Evan, what's going on? You nebulous Evans plays. Jimmy Spencer. I need to try your airborne wreck at Talladega at some point. Well, that was interesting. Not what we were going for, but replay worthy, nonetheless. Huh. Just trying to think of what real life wreck that might have looked like, but I couldn't can't think of anything off the top of my head. Oh, we keep it together. Oh, just a little bump into the wall. No big deal. Oh. That was actually looking decent. If I didn't flip so many damn times. I think the way he gets airborne, I'm going to need to spin around kind of the reverse way that I've been doing. I was flipped too many times, otherwise that was looking decent. If I did like a th third or half the flips in that one, that one wouldn't have been bad. Just more like that. Me. Ooh, that was close. Jesus. I want to see how fast these AI cars are going in the turns. It's just ridiculous. Flipped a few too many times again. That was like... Kind of like Rusty Wallace. Not really. Never mind. Now, how fast are these cars going in these turns? 
230 miles an hour. That's a hell of a stock car to be taking a turn at a track that isn't insanely banked in the turns like Michigan is. Like Michigan, for example. To be taking a turn at 230 miles an hour. Jeez. I try not to get in their way. Nope. That was a bust. By the way, who watched the football last night? Oops, didn't mean to cut that replay short or whatever. Oh, that was close. The Packers won their first preseason game, but at a cost. They got like six people injured. A few of them with some pretty scary looking hits. Malachi Dupree, my jaw dropped when I saw that hit and I was speechless until I saw his arms moving. Oh, you bastard. How's that for a big wreck? <laughs> Jeez. I was still going so fast when I got sideways there. I was airborne for a few. And that 75 took a wild ride. Took a ride on the wild side. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't even see this. I think I'm gonna... be driving into a big pileup. Oh no, they made it through it. The only clips I really saw was obviously the Packers, Eagles. I saw a little bit of the Broncos, Bears. I was hoping Cutler was going to give a performance. Damn it. I keep getting dis distracted and forget to spin out going on the backstretch. I was hoping Cutler was going to have a performance in Miami, but he didn't play. I guess that's what I get for trying to block. That was a hell of a blowover, though. I got hit midway in the blowover. Is that Jimmy Horton in the 32 from the 1993 Winston Cup roster? It is. Speaking of part twos to 1993 flips, I still need to try that dude. His flip over the wall. In Daga, 93. Still need to do a part two to that one. Alright, not going to forget to spin out on the backstretch this time, rambling about Jay Cutler. Come on. Nope, just another single flip. I either only have one flip or I tumble like 40 times. There's nowhere in between where I'm getting like five or six. That's all I need. All I need is like five barrel rolls. Ooh. So Kyle Petty's gonna be in the way almost right here. Not quite. Come on. Don't flip too many times. Darn it. I mean, that was another decent one. It was just too many flips in an otherwise decent reenactment. I mean, 
mean, even the way the car was kind of bouncing off the ground, like the front of the car when in the front would hit the ground, but still kept the barrel rolls going and didn't go into any end over ends. It was good, it was just too many flips. I think Johnny Benson flipped like five times. Let's see how many I flipped here. Not counting that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Either ten or eleven. So yeah, about twice as many flips as I needed. fast. I'm not going as fast and I don't get as airborne. Poop. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500 in second. And the Packers had a few cool looking touchdowns. Promising for the younger players. Jeff Janis who's always been criticized. He has speed, but he's never been an amazing route runner. Ran an amazing sluggo route last night for a 20-something yard touchdown and a beautiful pass from Brett Hundley. Helped it. Oh, darn it. Davey got in the way. Speaking of flipping too many times. Oops. Alright, this time we won't have the 28 get in the way. So yeah, Jeff Janis ran a beautiful route for a receiving touchdown. Let's just see if he actually gets any opportunities to play in games during the regular season. And Trevor Davis, who really wants to be the starting punt returner, returned a punt for a touchdown. I believe that was a 68-yarder. That was a beauty. Darn it. Double darn it. Alright. I'll try to ramble as little about the Packers as possible during these NASCAR streams. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't very excited now that football is here. Another single flip, or like a half flip. Keep it under Darn it. Keep it under Double darn it. Keep it under Keep it under Triple darn it. Jesus Christ. It's one downside to the track temperature being really low to help with uh, blowovers. Makes the track very slick. That drift would have been a lot more impressive if the grip in the track I and I had not been turned up a decent amount. Come on, come on. Just a few too many times. That was probably, again, like eight or ten flips right there. I need like five or six. No more than. And the start of the flips were kind of weird. Or the way I dug in initially. Yeah, it was definitely more than five or six right there. Next. Trying to fly in front of these guys. And we did, except let's try not to get hit by these guys on the track. Oh, you bastard. 
Keep it saved. I just keep getting rear-ended by these AI cars that can miraculously take these turns at 230 miles an hour. Alright, next. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 55. Oops. Alright, I'd rather have that happen than get clobbered by all those supersonic speed AI cars again. On, like right before this road is when I need to turn and spin. And hope for the best. Come on. Darn it. Limit 55. At least I was just a single darn it that time. No double darn it or triple darn it. Try not to get hit by the AI cars first. Try not to hit the wall second. Try to spin in the right spot third and get all the perfect flips fourth. That was probably the most anticlimactic attempt this entire video. It's going to look really weird on the replay. It's going to just look like a single car race. And once again, nothing. Darn it. I do have an idea, though. In about five minutes, I'll go into the track I and I and try changing a few things around. I have a couple ideas that might help. Another single flip. Maybe we need to try one in a cockpit view since we haven't done that yet this entire stream. Oops. I just blew the clutch there. Taking the unrealistic Michigan at 200 miles an hour in the turn. I think that was a few more than six rolls. Just a few. Grass grip. That's exactly what I was thinking about changing the uh, in the I and I. You read my mind. Maybe if I turn that up just ever so slightly, I'll get a little bit more slowed down when I dig in and start rolling. But not turn it, don't turn it up so much to where I'm just digging in and instantly rolling the second I get sideways in the grass. I still need to be able to get realistically up in the air. Hence a blowover. Once again, that was decent. Just flipped a few too many times and landed on the wall, obviously. So I'm thinking if I can keep getting the start of the wreck like this, if I can turn the grass grip up a little bit, it'll slow down my, my car during the flips and maybe I won't flip as many times. Up on the wall. Okay, 
Darn it. Well, that's probably the biggest accidental wreck so far this video. I accidentally hit the apron. And even though the grip is high enough, or is decently high, it's still not high enough to prevent me from spinning out if I do that. time. Nothing like coming out of the pits at 175 miles an hour. Does that count as a save if you keep it off the wall but your car still kind of bounced off the ground a little bit and there would have been a little bit of an impact there? Like right there? So, I mean, does that still count as a save if your car would have been damaged? Like Robert Presley. Does that count as a save? The 97 Daytona 500? I'm now just realizing there was two rollovers in that race. Alright, one more try and then we're going in, into the track I and I. I need to start making more rhymes during my streams. Jeez. Is that Greg's sax? I believe it was. There we go. Let's follow him during this. <laughs> Oops. Right, one more try, then to the track I and I. It's at a horrible angle. Which I'm a little bit slower than I usually was for these attempts. This might actually help me. Except I waited like a second too long down the back stretch. Trick shot. Landed on the wall and I'm kind of balanced on it. It's like a seesaw. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Has created an infield attraction and can, can charge kids a dollar a head. They can play on the seesaw. <laughs> Just put the heavier kids on this side since it's a little more balanced towards the side with the engine. <laughs> That's sad because the start of that one was actually looking really good. I was getting barrel rolls, but they were kind of slow, bouncing ones, not going too fast. Like those. But then I dug in right there. Had a few too many rolls going, then the attempt was ruined once I went up on the wall. Alright, so we're gonna. Go into the track I and I file. After we exit out of the game, because we need to exit out for the changes to take effect. All right, we're gonna exit out of here. Now the series going to tracks. Down to Michigan 95 is the one I'm using. Track I and I. Let's full screen this. Do, 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 do. Grass grip. All right, it has been. Touch. Let's turn it up just ever so slightly. 0.5. Everything else I think is good, actually. I'm not going to touch another thing. Just want to tweak the grass grip up just ever so slightly. 
Alright, save that, exit out. Loading the game back up. And then I'm gonna click over on the chat menu, just make sure that's not frozen. Actually, I'm just gonna refresh it just to make sure it's not frozen. Take no chances. I'm gonna turn these guys down a little bit since they're taking those turns insanely fast. Come on, let's get another cloudy happy hour. Awesome! Except I want to accelerate the session to get some cars spread out throughout the trek. Oops. Well, we got a rollover in pit lane. How often has that ever happened? Has that ever happened? In a NASCAR race, at least? A rollover in pit lane? See if turning the grass grip up just ever so slightly makes any difference. Ooh, that was close. Except this guy coming out of the pits is going to be in the way. Just about. Not quite. Alright, that's... A bit closer to what I needed. You could tell the grip was kind of taking effect and trying to slow the car down during the rolls. Except I had dug in. I dug in kind of weird to start the flips. Right. When I should have been kept kept going to kind of land more on my side my front end kind of dug in right there and sent my car over. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500 in seconds. Yeah, the AI are still going really fast, but not as fast. the wall again. Ouch. That was about like the perfect so spot to start spinning out though. I just needed to flip a few less times. And not get up on the wall. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. off the wall. Alright, good. Try to take this turn as fast as possible so we can get optimal blowover speed going down the back stretch. Except this guy's in the way. Like, Oops, that's gonna hurt. Neil Bonnet got in my way. He messed up my spin. Ouchie. Try not to hit these guys while I'm merging on. Ooh, that was close. Darn it. Try that again. I think we got the settings about where I need them. It's just a matter of getting 
a lucky attempt. I need to refresh my laptop because it's stuck on the live buffering screen. But if I refresh it, it'll be fine. Oops, I turned back to the right a little too soon. Darn it. Yeah, the way the grass grip feels, I don't think I need to turn up anymore. It's just a matter of getting a good enough slash lucky enough attempt. I think we need another attempt in cockpit view. Through the eye of Johnny Benson. What happened that time? I know I didn't flip too many times, but I know I hit the wall before I really started flipping. We'll have to see the replay to find out. Yep. Ouch. I like swung around the car around and hit the roof into the wall. Almost. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oops. close to digging in right there. Alright, back to Chase. Oops. Not into the back of Jimmy Horton. He had enough bad luck this year. He already left a track once. I don't need to smash into him in pit road. How mean of me. Flip too many times. Stop flipping. All right, stop. Nope, too many. And on the wall once again. I couldn't do that again if I tried. Land on the wall perfectly like that, right? in a balanced fashion. You blew the engine. Here's an interesting view. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. <laughs> Looks like you're leaking some fluid. That's what she said. You're smoking out there. Alright. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35 in seconds. This guy might be in the way. He's definitely going to be in the way. Almost. Nope. Just another half flip. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 3500. Oh hey, shit. There's some tires screeching outside. I didn't hear any impact though. Can I recreate the accident that happened outside my house in our 2003 live stream episode 246? <laughs> Shoot, I waited too long. Oh well. Jeez. That was a hard wreck. Let's make it even harder. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Focus, Cody. Kind of like clipped me while I was flying around in the air. Who was that? Jimmy Means. Next. Try to merge right in here. Perfect. I was almost bonnet again that was in my way, but wasn't quite in my way this time. Oh, I cleared the wall that time. Oh, my car isn't drivable anymore. Who would have figured? That tumbling the car four times end over end would cause some mechanical damage to your vehicle. Clear over the wall that time. Didn't even touch it. Give me an eight or a nine on the dismount. I should race like this in I racing. Just been flying out of the pits like three times the speed limit. See how fast I get booted. Come on. Come on. Don't flip too many times. Stop flipping. Stop flipping. Once again, like the, sp the blowover, the spot, and the landing was like perfect. Just too many. Just a few too many barrel rolls. If that was like five or six versus like the eight or ten, which however many it was. And the car, the front of the car is like bouncing, hitting the ground and bucking into the air, but it's still not going end over end. So those are perfect, just a few too many flips. I mean, I guess I'll save it in case I need a thumbnail for part three. Hopefully it won't have to happen. Hopefully we'll get a perfect attempt in the next 15 minutes. What do you want? Oh. What's up? Right there, I inadvertently caused with those two AI cars. Keep it off the wall. Once again, does that count as a save if the car is technically bucking around on the ground a little bit? That would have caused some damage. Like that. Limit 55. Keep it under 15 seconds. Whoa, oops. Sorry, Neil. Speaking of 1993 flips, damn, there's a lot of rollovers in that year. Jimmy Horton, Neil Bonnet, Rusty Wallace, both times, Johnny Benson, if I didn't already say that. Come on, not too many flips. Not too many. A little more than that. Oops, 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 oh, I thought I was going to get rear-ended there. I didn't. Oops. Come on, come on. 
Come on. <laughs> Does that count? That to me seems like right? the ultimate fear for a race car driver trapped in the car after just having flipped with the car trapped on the driver's side like side so like you have to climb out like through the car out the passenger side window like if anything were to happen like a fire or something and that to me seems like the ultimate fear is getting stuck on the driver's side of the car that one wasn't too bad and there wasn't too many flips, but I hit the wall and landed on my side. Actually, I mean, I might save that. I know he, I didn't he technically land on his side? And he did get really close to the wall. So I'll save that as attempt two. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? The NR2003 gods will come after me for saving a not worthy attempt. That's the worst that can happen. Oops. Trying to talk and type at the same time. Leads to ADHD for Cody. <laughs> see, see what I mean? There we go. Alright, let me take one more look, actually. I'm just going to click back on the wait screen for a second just so I can see the gif. And then we're going to go right back to the game screen. Alright, so he's flipping, flipping, flipping. I know he gets close to the wall. Eh. No, that's right, he didn't land on his side. Never mind. Why did I think he landed on his side? Stupid Cody. And your short-term memory loss. Oops. Just don't take out these guys. Don't have them take out me, which almost happened. Nope. Gotta flip a little more times than that. Keep it under 55. Poop. Limit fifty five. Keep it under thirty five hundred. What? Three times in a row, the same kind of single non-flip. Four times in a row, the same single non-flip. Let's please not have it be five times in a row. Oh. 
wouldn't you know it, five times in a row. Same single non-flip. I think I'm gonna restart this happy hour session soon just to get the cars a little bit more spread out on the track. Why does it keep doing that? I mean, I know that was happening in the occasional attempts throughout this stream, but not every single one in a row until now. What am I doing differently? I didn't think anything. Back when Dale Jarrett was in the number 18 Interstate Batteries car before Bobby Labonte. I think I waited a little too long that time and I got a little too, too close to the wall. Is that six times in a row or seven? Although that one didn't really count. That attempt is kind of screwed up for my own spin. Actually, let's do this. Restart the happy hour session. It's about eight minutes just to get some cars spread out throughout the track. I think it looked like just a race has been going on a long time during green. Oh, that was close. And this is going to be close. Michael Walter. Yes, I'm using the Winston Cup car set because I couldn't find a 93 Grand National Series car set, unfortunately. Jesus, Christmas. I don't know what I'm doing differently. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like every single attempt, that same thing is happening now. I've been doing the same spinning technique basically this entire time. I haven't changed what I've been doing. That got messed up. Ouch. It's probably one of the worst head-on crashes I've had in a while. Jeez. Did I go over that one, dude? messed up from that dude hitting me. Rip the front of the car off. That was like the worst type of head-on crash. Because it wasn't at an angle to where it like spun the front of the car back around really quickly or where it kind of came into the wall and slapped this the driver's side of the car. It just kind of stopped the spin and just bounced directly back off. That was like the worst type of head-on crash right there. Almost. Alright guys, third to last attempt here. I gotta get going soon. We're reaching the top of the hour. And yes, I do, or I will do the wrong way wreck, as is customary. Do the wrong way, wreck, as is tradition. Damn it. 
That one was actually looking not bad until I hit the wall. The princess is now scooping off the royal pudding, as is tradition. South Park, anyone? At least I didn't get the single flip, non flip that attempt. Too many times, and I hit the wall, and that sent me end over end. Started rolling a few too many times there, and went end over end. Back on my wheels. Nope. All right, last attempt right here, guys, before we cause the mother of. All big ones. The Moabo. There's the Moab, the mother of all bombs, and then there's the Moabo, the mother of all big ones. Alright, that can't be the last attempt. The last attempt has to have a fighting chance once the wreck starts. Can't just end in a disappointing one like that. Keep it off the wall. Nope. I mean, I didn't flip too many times, maybe a couple too many, and I hit the wall, but aside from that, it wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, no. Alright, looks like I'm doing a part three, unfortunately, and someone said the chat is frozen, so I will unfreeze that right before we do the Moabo. Alright, that's the new name for the big one at the end of all these streams. It's time for the Moabo, the mother of all big ones. Drivers, start your engines! Yeah, he never hits the wall. I need to get close to the wall, but I can't hit the wall. That's one of the deal breakers, I think, with this reenactment. If I hit the wall, that ruins it. Alright. Time for the Moabo. <laughs> That's also a really funny word to say. Or fun word to say. Both funny and fun. This way, I'm flying out through the pits the wrong way to flank them as they're coming out of turn four. I think I waited a little too long this time. Okay, yeah, I waited a little too long. I missed a couple of them. Might have to try that one more time. We missed a few too many of the leaders. 
for that to be Moabo worthy. Tell you what though, that was that was quality over quantity. People I did get certainly felt it. Jeez. Brett Boat Iron like took a ride over that other car and sent him over too. He has surfed right on top of the 16 and sent him right over. Alright, one last big wreck and then I'll get going. I missed like a decent portion of the leaders that time. That's unacceptable. Hey guys, what would Rick Allen say in a situation like this? since this is the last hurrah for this stream. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Check out my social media links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I hopefully will have the description updated shortly after the stream is done being live. So I forgot to do that beforehand. <coughs> Should have that updated shortly after. Yeah, sure. They're gonna hold us in the pits for 15 seconds. Okay, you're clear of this way. Much better. Look at that Ted Musgrave flipping about 20 or 30 feet in the air. I think, was that Earnhardt that I spared too? It was. Awesome. I made a smart choice not taking out the first person. And I spared Allison as well. I got Mr. Incredible though. <laughs> I spared the two legends up front and I got mainly everyone else. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching again. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know your suggestions for future videos you'd like to see me do down in the comments below. Make sure to check out other videos of mine and my social media links down in the description. And that's about it. Thanks again, guys. Hope to catch you all at the next stream. Until then, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Peace.